can't I? All I know is that Bob uh, had planned to go to bed to meet my Charlotte uh, and to tell Jillian that he might not be home tonight. Oh, was he interrogating her again, alone? I have no idea. Uh, okay. I'd rather take her to the nearest precinct. Let them handle it. Oh, wouldn't we all? But Francis will do it in his own good way. I'm so glad that you brought Ryan by. Good cuddle with her may take my mind off of all of that. Yeah, that would be good for her, too. My father hasn't been too cuddly lately. Oh, yes, I heard you were not too thrilled with Lee's presentation. What, did she surprise you? You didn't know about her plans? Oh, I heard about it after the fact, Patrick. Yeah, well, Patrick saw the whole thing, along with the assembled guests and colleagues. Limousine Lee trotted out her pet journalist on his diamond-studded leash. Well... Of course, she didn't tell you about it up front because you would have spelled it out for her and she couldn't ignore you the way she ignored Frank. <laughs> what? Jack, the worst that Lee did was to, to make an error in judgment. Did she talk to you? No, but I mean, I can, I can see with my own eyes. I mean, the girl gave you a present on the grand scale, right? Well, I mean, isn't that so surprising considering who she is and the way she's lived? Boy, she knows damn well it's not the way I live. Really? Do you really think she did it to embarrass you? Well, nine, one more time, sweetheart. Thank you. No. Humiliate, maybe. I don't know what Lee intended. I only know what she did. <laughs> I would have And also know she's plenty scared about the way things have been going with us. What way is that? <laughs> I told her that I, uh, was feeling free of the past. Well, I know what my daughter would want. She would you, want you and her child to be happy now with a woman that both love. Yeah, well, I know that. Only it just, uh, doesn't look like it's going to be Lee Kirkland, that's all. It wasn't my choice, it was her. She's the one who decided to mess things up. <sighs> Jack, that may be the way it is. I'm not saying I agree with you. But don't you think going along with her, that you're just helping her do that? Making the same choice? Yeah. Yeah. Another beer? One of these? Certainly. I did make an effort, Maeve. Help? Oh. She doesn't want to see my point of view. <laughs> Watch. Will you see her? We don't uh, understand one another, so we had another row. Then I heard from Frank that she's going to replace me at WTJ with uh, Wes Glenn. Oh, that looks just so. What do you think she intended? <laughs> Come on, now, Jack. You know, I know you're hurt, and I know that both of you are angry, but I just really have very little patience with people cutting their own nose off to spite their face. You'll have to excuse me. I'll take it down for you, Kevin. Have something to ask. Thank you, Doctor. Thank you, Jack. Thought I'd save Kevin a trip. Nice. Yeah, I also thought you might give me an educated opinion on the latest episode. Uh, well, the great Frank and Charlotte saga. Now, what does it mean in terms of silly? I wanted to ask you, how do you think your campaign is going? Sorry, I'm not in the mood for heavy gossip today. They call concern for Jillian idle gossip. Yeah, it depends what the concern is and why. Well, it's natural enough. Jillian and I go way back. She's still my friend. I hope she'll be my representative in Congress. What's that, huh? Uh, what's that, some kind of reflected glory? My ex-wife is a member of the House of Representatives, but a strange way to hang on. Forget it, Jack. I think the bad time. I heard you were a little out of sorts because of that TV business. Is that right? But you're not into gossip. Huh? Well, that's good, because that subject's closed, too. Uh, can I get you some dessert, Senator? No, no, thank you, Mayor. Well, what can we talk about? Is anything safe? Say, how about the kids? We have that in common? 
single parents of young daughters. Yeah, there's a big age difference now, but Harley and Ryan could grow up to be friends. Well, if they do, it'll have to be by chance, because I don't think my kid's friends. No, neither do I in principle. I mean, there certainly can't be anything wrong with having your kids meet other kids you'd like them to be with. Gee, Ryan will be thrilled. I'll tell her that you want it for Harley's friend. You know, Jack, I really envy the situation you have here with Ryan. An extended family on call. Oh, I... Well, you can't always give him everything you want, can you? I mean, I'd like Harley to have a mother, but I can't quite seem to manage it right now. Yeah, well, she's got a grandmother right up the block. <laughs> the world of difference between Maeve and Ray Wood. <laughs> yeah. I'll give you that. Of course, Harley sees Ray on a scheduled basis, and that's when he's there, but I don't want to get in the habit of just dropping her off and leaving her. She's the kind of a kid who seems to need a structured life. She wants to know what to expect. She's a in her way, and she, uh, she wants a, a controlled environment. Well, I guess she's in the right place. You may call it control. I call it parenting. I don't give a damn what you call it. Kevin! Yeah, okay. Right with you. There, yeah, I'll be out. There. There we go. You know, Brian, the, uh, the desktops have a weakness in second base. Yeah. They had that fellow named Blonsky, but, uh... Um, yeah, yeah, he was a friend of mine. I'm sorry. I know that. John, um, the trouble brewing there with uh, Jack and Seneca. You might have to step in. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 sure. Uh, uh, Ken here was just telling me the lineup for the precinct. Oh, does that mean there'll be a line on the team just like old times? <laughs> well, Doc, when they pass out the Daddy of the Year awards, you get my book. Hmm? You know, Jack, you might ask yourself in terms of your child why you're getting so defensive. Defensive? Oh, hey, wait a minute, Jack! What's you doing? For heaven's sake, Jack! Come on. You're drunk, Come on. Yeah, Ellie. Oh, you're oh, drunk, oh, Ellie. Oh, yeah, yeah, I remember that. Come on. Let me yeah. take care of this, please. No, no, he's my son-in-law. Oh. I'll take care of him. I'll take care no. of him. Oh, 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 for God's sake, he's a cop! I don't care if he's a police commissioner! Oh. You are drunk? And you're belligerent, and you just assaulted an officer. I'm going to do Mr. Ryan a favor and get you out of here. Uh, why don't you wear forget a uniform? It. Forget I'm it. I'll take care of him. Mr. Ryan, I'm sorry. It's no longer up to you. Let's go. Right. I don't know. We took a folk at Seneca for some reason. Okay, Jack. Yeah. Yeah. Look, it's, it's also okay. Let me get my coat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen, I think I'd let the guy go. He's just a little drunk. Mm -hmm. In case you want to stretch out. I hope you'll be comfortable. Fine. Hey, Dad, I'll sleep much anyway. 